What is up guys, today I am back in the shop. Um, today we're going to be working on my WRX, my daily driver. I haven't had any time to work on it in a long time and it's had this nasty exhaust leak pre-turbo so it's not making full boost and I'm tired of it so I'm going to pull it off and weld it shut. Uh, there's a crack in it basically so I'm going to weld that crack shut. So I'm going to pull this piece in and uh, get cracking. So today is tomorrow and the new up pipe is in and it works great. Uh, I got so used to driving the car with that old crappy up pipe that I forgot how it felt normally. So I wasn't making boost to like 4,000 RPMs. Um, now it's making boost to like 2,700 which is amazing. Um, however, I get this really bad howling sound under boost under about, once it hits about 10 pounds of boost and I'm still not making the full 17 pounds of boost. So, I tightened up some bolts um, on all the flanges that I messed with yesterday. I'm gonna go test drive it, see if that fixes it. I'm also missing one nut for the downpipe flange um, because I had to cut it off. The stud is still intact and I can still get a nut on it, but I'm missing it. So, as I test drive it to see if tightening that stuff down helped, I'm gonna go pick up a new nut for that from local parts store and we'll see how that does. I just realized I have a nut sitting in my center console that might actually be the right threads if I didn't just lose it in between the seat. Let me go check before I leave. How freaking lucky am I? That is the correct nut that I need. Uh, would have been more lucky if I found it before I put it, you know, back on the ground. Unfortunately, that didn't fix my issue, but I am all out of time today. But I'm just gonna leave this place a huge mess and go and edit some videos for you guys. Um, luckily the car runs way better either way. It probably makes like an extra like 50 torque under the curve, which is absurd. Like it drives so much better. And just the spool time makes the biggest difference and you don't even realize it, especially because when my up pipe cracked, uh, I can actually show you it here. This is the up pipe. And these are a bunch of booger welds that I did while it was in the car. So that's my excuse as to why they look so bad because um, if you know where this is in a WRX, it is not easy to get to. Um, but basically, let's see. Basically, that is all cracked and it was cracked all the way around. Um, and it th I think when it first cracked, it wasn't too bad and it just got worse and worse and worse over time. And so it sort of gradually, the spool got worse and worse. Um, and that's why I didn't notice it that much. If it would have just done it at once, it would have been like a really big difference because now with the up pipe fixed, it feels completely different. So I'm happy with that. Hopefully I can fix the other issues soon, but happy with how the car drives now. Today is a beautiful day and I'm gonna get a bunch done. Uh, right now I'm heading down to my shop I had to grab some tools, uh, diagnostic equipment, and I'm driving down to Boulder, Colorado. My homie, Pat, his car is running like shit. So we're gonna get it all fixed up for him, see what's going on. But gotta grab my stuff from uh, the shop real quick, so heading that way. I hate it when I'm missing sockets.
that little portable toolbox and all this stuff, and that should be basically everything you need to diagnose just about anything in any car, hopefully. Alright, so there's a beautiful 914 up here, and I never see 914s in public. And this one looks awesome. It's black. I'm trying to catch up to it, and I'm gonna follow him if I can because I wanna to talk to the dude. Oh my good googly moogly, it looks good. Alright, I'm taking the camera down so I don't look creepy. No, he's turning! There's a sticker on the bumper that says, God bless Johnny Cash. That guy's awesome. Okay, so I couldn't get next to him and I didn't want to be creepy, so I stopped following him. I'm back on my way to Boulder. So I just thought this was sort of interesting. I bought my Porsche. So as you can tell, it's now super dark. Um, I just spent all day diagnosing and trying to fix that uh, problem is all it was was a misfire on a Subaru um, and I forgot the number one rule let me turn this off uh, basically you never want to trust anyone else's work even when that work is your own in this case it was not my own uh, this he had claimed that well the spark plugs were just done like less than 10,000 miles ago okay uh, so I ruled that out of the possible issues because you know they're brand new and if it's, you know, I pulled the spark plugs just to check them out, see if they were fouled up. The spark plugs look perfect. Um, so I was looking anywhere else for another issue, and I couldn't find anything else. So finally I just decided, screw it, let's put some cheap spark plugs in it. Ten bucks, runs like a dream. So, never trust yourself, never trust anyone else's work, and don't trust what other people tell you. Um, go with your gut, and whatever's the most simple problem, see if that's the problem. So guys, that's where I'm going to end today's video. I didn't realize, um, obviously this has already happened because you already watched the video, but the first half was a couple days ago, and then this half was today. I didn't realize I was going to mix those up, but I forgot I filmed that, so I'm just going to mix those up instead of uh, adding more onto the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on everything in the comment section below, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks. Have a good one.